Hey, what's good, everyone? Look, last man here. Had a great question last night, early this morning when I got up, I saw it. I should have included this in the video, in the line lane video. It's one of the coolest things of the whole line lane process is basically how do you get a straight line into a circle right here and just kind of asking if it ends up all kinked up and stuff. And yes, it does. And I wish I have, I'll try to find if I have a video of a close up of the line, but as you can see here, you can't even notice that that's all kind of kinked up. And I, maybe I'll try to walk around and find a better spot over there that you can see the line. But essentially, you are laying a straight line and you're just kind of bending it as you go to curve it. What I'm going to do is I have a little bucket of water, the roller, and the line here. Set the tripod up here. And I'll just do a quick line right here the best I can. It's kind of follow the original one. You're going to follow your scribe mark you put on the ice. You know, I don't have to say that, I'm saying it's obvious, but that's kind of how you do it. So let me go ahead and set the tripod up here and I'll show you how it's done. All right, I don't think that's going to stick very well unless I have some water, but we'll try it first. I was going to bring the scraper out and scrape this off the ice when I'm done. But what you got to do is you kind of, you got to get it wet. And I kind of like to have my fingers wet as I go to kind of press it. Then someone has a spray and they're spraying it. And the person spraying and rolling could do that be one person, but it's nice to have, I guess, three people doing it. So that's kind of set you what I'm doing. As I'm going, I kind of like to have the guy spray my fingers, get my fingers wet so I can go just kind of like that. And you're just kind of rolling it. It's a little easier if I'm not doing it all at once, but you're, I think you're getting the point here. That's kind of basically how you do it. Yeah, you see how it ripped there? That's not a huge deal. I do have a picture of there's the red line ripping this cross center ice because when you do a patch you can really notice it but after everyone skates on it you can't notice it my blue lines i got all the way across without it ripping the 12 inch line but the, the the red line it did rip halfway through so that's essentially what you're doing you're just kind of laying the, the paper down and someone again you have to have it wet and pat it down to get going and i always have my fingers wet See if I'm out of the camera lens there a little bit. There we go. Just kind of going along and just kind of turn it and you're rolling it and spraying it. And it's not as wiggly. You're getting a little bit straighter line because you can see your etch mark. You want to make sure your etch mark is nice and clean so you can't see it. Other than that, that's pretty much the process, and it does look a little foldy as you go, but as soon as everyone skates on it, you don't really see it. If I could show you, like, some spots, like, right here, you can see where it's not, it's not the straightest right through there, so, but after it's been built up and skated on, you don't really notice it, you just kind of keep on going around. Again, I guess the best way to do it, how I kind of see it, is getting your fingers wet, kind of going along and tapping it down as someone's spraying it and rolling it. And again, the spray and roller could be the same person. Let's go ahead and check out the spot over here before I wrap this video up and script this line off. So you can see the blue line looking pretty sharp. As you could tell, I think it was, yes, right it here. You could tell that that's a spot where the line ripped right in the middle of the laying process. I think I was moving this way and it ripped, so I kind of just had to rip it start a new spot and just kind of keep on going and that will fade out over time you won't see that and one mistake we did make that we put the the blue line over the red line and the red line needs to be over the blue line see so if you could tell real barely we had some extra mesh that we put over the blue line just to make it one solid red line so that's how it looked like in the picture so and i was going to do a separate video about this but let's go ahead and talk about this right now since we're here i think it's looking good now I call this the Andy dot here. Now the Andy dot, oh, what's that little speck in there? I gotta clean that thing out. All right, so uh, they call this the Andy dot right here. As this gets kind of skated up and over the years, basically, it's really hard to see this dot right here. And you can shave the ice down and build it back up to make it kind of clear. But this dot becomes kind of hard to see once the ice gets a little bit thicker and a little bit skated on. It's really hard to see over the years, so. We had an extra hash mark, like I said, I ordered an extra hash mark because I thought through a paper, kind of wanted an extra one. We had a, it was a mesh one they sent, so we basically just cut these little pieces off right here. Cut this piece off, then cut this piece off. Then we had a bunch of extra middle pieces that we used 
for a little patch job on the sides as well as the little dots for the goals for half ice play. So this is basically what it is. It's just a oversized center ice dot with the face off circle, I guess you call it, right in the middle. So it's a little bit easier to see. That's that right there. Let's go ahead and see if I can find a different spot here. I don't know if you can, because once it's been skated on again, you're not gonna be able to see it as well, but you, you kind of see it a little bit. It's not totally perfect. There's a little wow in there. So you get, I think paint, you get a much cleaner circle, but paper is much quicker and cheaper. And at the end, you know, a circle's a circle. It looks like a circle. So now I say one thing about the paint job here. Since we're down here, I might as well add this right now. Down at this level, you know, not too bad. Most people are not going to notice, you know, the less than stellar paint job down here. But staying on top there in a stadium rink, looking down, oh, you definitely can see that paint job. I really hope my music doesn't. This video doesn't get a copyright claim because that music. I'm gonna have to probably fight that. But anyway, down here on the floor, doesn't look so bad. I'm just gonna turn away real quick from the bad spots and look over the good spots over here, but. Uh, it's been skated on. It's only been a week since we started, so I think things are looking good. The lines are looking good. Everyone's happy and excited to have the ice back. It's definitely a good feeling to have to come in here. It's cold. It's music to your ears. The hairless compressor's going. The dimmer fire is on. Everything's going good right now, so can't, uh, can't add too much more to that. So it's happy to be back. Happy to see the skaters here. The skaters are happy to be here. Get the pads going. I'm gonna do a video, a COVID video. How we have to set these pads up and how long it takes and what COVID hockey looks like. Probably throw a video like that along the way. So as well as I'll do a post analysis of Pitney Ice in. I still, there's a few things I wanna discuss. That I think I can improve definitely on the spray bar as well. I know things I've talked about already, but a few other things. All right, just leave it at that. Gotta scrape a lineup right there. We'll wrap it up. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. As always, hope you learned something. And like the local ice man says, stay cool. Taylor Swift.